Hello, brothers of the Republic. Today, I teach you how to draw a very, very basic, very basic landscape like this. Super basic. The road can be switched with like a river or something. I will teach you how to do it. It's very simple. Let's get into it. Okay, we've got our nice big white canvas right here. Beautiful white canvas. And now what we're gonna wanna do is select where you want your horizon to be. Just draw a line. It does not need to be straight because it's just a reference point. Just a reference point for now. Uh, and then you wanna make your nice big main mountain. I mean, it's all gonna end up looking like a shape because it's nice and simple. And then you're gonna draw your first ridge line down. And you just kind of draw it down. I usually tend to like to make it combine right there. And then if you have any more peaks, you can draw off of those. Nice. And now you want to make sure you have some background mountains. Okay. I quite personally like this ridge line. It's something unique. So then what you want to do is you want to decide where is my light coming from? Is my light coming from this side or is it coming from this side? Because this determines where you put your, your shading. Your shading as like just the other part of the black. I tend to like to have it come from this side. I don't know, just the way I, I tend to like it. So then when you have that settled, kind of just fill in each side with black. All right, and now that we have a nice, very, very simple mountain line, we're just gonna take our land that's underneath it. All right, there's my nice, simple mountain line. You can always add to it to your heart's content. Then we're just gonna fill all of this in. How does Bob Ross do this? This is tiring for my arm. All right, so now we have our grass plane, whatever. We have that done. So now what we wanna do is if you have an eraser or a white marker you can put on top, or you can draw it out ahead of time. I just didn't do that since, well, I'm in VR and I can easily just draw on top of it like so and you can get however windy however not windy you want to get uh, I didn't make mine nearly windy enough but that's fine that is perfectly fine once you do some tweaking with it like making it thicker as it comes down good 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 see like I have it too thick back here and I want to show more perspective so we're just gonna cover some of that back up with black and really, it's all just up to what you want. I'm doing a nice, simple layout for you, just trying to teach you what to do. I'll, when it's done, it will look better. I will see you when I add some more fine touches. And there we have just a very simple mountain range. I ended up getting rid of some of this hump. <laughs> I did not particularly like how big of a hump I made it, but that's the beauty of light sketches like this. What I tend to like to add are, little birds in the distance so now we have some birds up in the painting and then if you really wanted to you could add some cloud line by just shading in some areas up here and just kind of drawing in the shades of clouds I'm not that great at doing this, so I tend to stray away from drawing clouds like this, but it is a technique that I will try to improve on, but, you know, to each their own. That is drawing with the commandos. It's been a while since I have drawn something like this, so it was nice and challenging. If you have any inputs on how I can improve for the future, that'd be great. <clears throat> I'm trying to make this a weekly thing. Next week, I plan on doing uh, how to draw a clone helmet. A nice, simple how to draw a clone helmet. You can get it done in like five minutes. I love sketching clone helmets. They're awesome. Have a good one. For the Republic.